Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be giving you a bit of an update video and this is an update on everything that Apple have recently announced. So if you're not aware, they actually had a sort of a, a spring refresh and they updated a few of their products and they've added a few different services and I'm just going to go over this in the video today. So each section which I talk about will have a link in the description of the video so you can go ahead and check it out in further detail. Firstly, let's start up with the product red iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, which is probably the biggest, uh, most talked about news. So Apple have actually introduced the first product red iPhone ever. It joins the other Apple product red stuff, which they have done before, like the, uh, you know, the iPod touches and the cases. And it's basically this is where a portion of the sales are donated to the Global Fund to support the HIV slash AIDS programs. It's marketed as a special edition device and it features a matte red finish on the rear with the white front bezels and a silver Apple logo and touch ID ring as well as product red branding on the rear and this is, iPhone is, despite the fact that it's a special edition one, is being offered at the same price so the only difference is uh, the colours and the existing gold, silver, rose gold, black and jet black are still being offered so they haven't changed at all. Next we've got the 9.7 inch iPad model so this is just marketed as iPad, no iPad Air or iPad Air 3 or anything like that and it's a replacement for the iPad Air 2 combining the internals of the iPad Air 2 and the sort of parts of the original iPad Air design. So it starts at £339, so it's sort of cheaper than uh, previous iPads have been at a starting price. However, it does have a few omissions from the iPad Air 2, so these include a display that isn't laminated, so there's a small gap between the glass and the actual display, but it really isn't that noticeable, but you will perhaps notice it when you're watching things like videos. And there's no anti-glare coating, so if you're using the device outside, you may get a bit more reflection on the display than if you were using, say, an iPad Air 2. It does have the A9 chip powering it, which is higher up than the A8X chip found in the iPad Air 2. However, this may or may not be beneficial because it doesn't have the quad-core graphics which come with the iPad Air 2. So we have to see how that is. Next, we've got just the accessories. So we've got a refreshed color range for the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, so this includes the silicon and leather cases. And we've got the new silicon case colors which include Azure and Camellia. And the new leather case colors include Torpe or Torp, however you want to say that and sapphire so those are the new iPhone case colors there's also now saddle brown on the iPhone SE uh, as part of one of the leather case options uh, there's a new product red iPad smart cover for use with the new iPad and the Apple Watch also gained some new watch straps to match with the introduced iPhone cases so for the 38 millimeter watch we get red woven nylon strap a camellia sport band pure platinum slash white Nike sport torp classic buckle, an Apple Watch Hermes Bleu Zephro Epsom Leather Double Tour, an Apple Watch Hermes Fav Bachenia Leather Double Buckle Cloth, and for the 42mm watch, the following straps have been added, so we've got Azure Sport Band, Orange Woven Nylon Band, uh, Anthrakite or Black Nike Sport Band, Sapphire Classic Buckle, and an Apple Watch Hermes Colvert Swift leather single tour so you've got quite a few watch straps that have been introduced so you get a wide choice and finally we've got the new clips app so this is an iOS app which will be coming soon which is designed for making and sharing fun videos with text effects graphics and more so it has a built-in video recording functions so you can record directly within the app or you can insert pre-recorded content from your photo library the live titles are there so you can animate your text and you can even have the text set to be perfectly timed with your voice, so you have that option there. You can add filters and emojis as well as themed music. Once all of this is done, so you've done all your editing, and you can share them with via AirDrop, iMessage or to any of your other social media apps such as Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and Vimeo. So that's basically it for the news. If you liked this style of video, so going over the recent Apple news and you'd like to see it become a more regular thing on the channel, then do let me know. I'll definitely work to try and incorporate it into a routine as we move forward. So if you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video, then do let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen. And do consider checking the videos either side of the logo.
Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.